when you're filming a show like this, what is the mood like on set? Is it very heavy or do you kind of afterwards you're like, okay, we need to lighten things up because it's such a heavy show? Yeah, I, th I think it was about finding a balance. It's a great question because um, on the one hand, the whole cast and crew, I think, knew that we were really there doing something important and had a job to do. And so we wanted to bring a level of professionalism and focus probably beyond anything we've ever experienced before. At the same time, I don't know if it would have felt somehow indulgent to, to try to, to, to say that like if we were sad or if we were um, depressed, like that was in any way honoring the, what people actually went through, mm -hmm. given this kind of safe and controlled environment we were. So I think inevitably the atmosphere did feel different because of where we were on set, because we were in this, this Auschwitz uh, reenactment and recreation. Yeah. But um, we had a job to do and, and we wanted to make sure that, I think the best way of serving the story and honoring Lali and Gita was to just get the best out of each other and, and yeah. kind of work as hard as we could. But like I said, there are some light moments, which is between the two yeah. of you when you're exactly. together, which was lovely. What was that like, actually getting to do those those bits together? It was amazing because the, the power of this, uh, this story is the love story and the essence of it. And it's just so amazing to be able to watch Lali and Gita find love and hope in the world filled with hatred and horror and their love stories, their decision to, 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 to remain human in, in this factory of death and dehumanization and their act, the act of giving love and receiving love is, is an act of defiance. It's so, it's so brave of them, yeah. right? And it, it's, it's the power that, that sustains them in this yeah. dark place. And I do have to ask you though, I spoke to Melanie uh, a few minutes ago and she was saying that, obviously she didn't film with you guys because she was you'd done all of your bit, but she did say all oh, the cast and crew were like, oh, we really miss Jonah. And I'm curious, Anna, <laughs> did you miss Jonah of course, after you'd finished? Of course, he's just so kind. <laughs> like, he's the, like the, he's the kindest person I know, like really. And Jonah has, <laughs> Jonah has been very supportive, and he's such an amazing actor. And I'm, I'm so proud of you, like, oh, really. Yeah. I'm so, so, Thank so you proud of you. Oh. And I'm, 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 I'm so grateful that I could share this experience with you and yeah. to watch you. An amazing experience. I'm yeah. sure you feel the same, though. I do. Feel the same. She, I can't really imagine. No that. pressure. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I know. I, I can't imagine doing it with anyone else. Yeah. She, she was my my partner in crime, and and we. I felt so safe and trusting of her, and and uh, able to be vulnerable and in such difficult situations. And yeah, it was it was a funny kind of quirk of the shoot, which was that we did our three or four months, and then there was another few weeks at the end, which I wasn't involved in, and. They may have been missing me, but I was missing them. Like I, I was, I was, I was sent on a plane. I was out of there, so I wanted to be there with them. But um, yeah, it was a very strange thing to be so part of something and then to leave and know it was still happening. It yeah. was, it was yeah. strange. Both of your, I don't want to say characters because obviously they're real people, but yeah. were given something by their family when they they went away. Um, I'm curious when you guys, because you're always so much filming, is there anything that you always carry with you to remind you of, of home? That's a good question. Um, I, it's, it's an odd one, but I, I have, I'm wearing them now, I have two rings that were given to me by different people in my life and I sort of wear them everywhere yeah, I go. Oh, you do? I really oh, have yeah, two yeah. rings from my, from my dad and this one used to be, uh, I mean, this one used, uh, used to be on my mum's and this one is, is mine. Yeah. Oh, I love how it's... Listen, I have a ring from my mum as well, yeah, <laughs> which yeah. it's funny, it's something it's you can keep close. Shake, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and you can keep it close, you can wear exactly. it on the of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously, like I said, this is a show, it, it's based on the true stories, everything. Does, does it change you in any way, making a show like this? I found it quite inspiring to make the show. I mean, it's very formative because you do mm. do something that's um, probably more challenging than any professional experience you've taken on before and you learn so much from that as an actor but yeah. but as a person i think we learn so much from our from our characters yes. from lali from gita mm. and their their strength and their humanity and the way that they committed to each other is such a powerful and unique thing so i was very kind of inspired by that but like i said it's brilliantly portrayed guys so congratulations and good thank luck you. with it thank you so Cheers, much nice to meet you. Thank you.